Warriors, it's Bernard with JTS Wargaming, and we're back with another Infinity Defiance painting tutorial for you. Uh, so today we're painting up Caden First Strike from the Infinity Defiance crew, uh, and this will be a predominantly contrast paint uh, tutorial. It's a very quick and easy model uh, to get painted up. I think all of the steps probably took me a little bit under an hour um, to get the mini painted up and then there was some additional time for the basing. But let's get down to the hobby table and go ahead and get started. Okay, hobby warriors, we are down at the hobby desk and I'm just showing off the primed miniature. Um, as usual, I use the Vallejo surface primer, in this case gray mixed in with a little bit of white acrylic ink and we're gonna go ahead and paint all of the exposed skin using Gilliman Flesh Contrast Paint. Next up, we're going to use Agro's Dunes. Uh, we're going to use this color on his boots as well as the um, shoulder rig that he has over his jacket. Next, we're going to use Orc Flesh Contrast Paint on the segment of the pants uh, below the knee pad. It's textured differently from the rest of the trousers. And we're also going to use this to paint his gloves. Next we're going to use Grip Charger Gray and we're going to hit all of the metallics on the model. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the blades of his daggers as well as his belt buckle and the hunk of metal uh, machinery that he's leaping off of on his base. So now we're going to use Militarum Green on the rest of Caden's Fatigues. Uh, this is a really nice kind of olive drab uh, green that um, it's a pretty good color for, for any military fatigues that you might be painting uh, no matter what game system you're playing.
Next, we're going to use Grip Hound Orange uh, to go ahead and paint all of the hair on the model. Uh, his hair on his head as well as his facial hair um, to portray him as a redhead. Next, we're going to go ahead and use Black Templar Contrast Paint on the soles of the boots, uh, which are exposed given his pose, as well as the handles on the blades. And there he is all finished uh, for the basing um, I'm gonna put a link in the cards to my basing tutorial uh, definitely watch that video if you're interested in learning how I do the majority of my miniature bases um, for the um, sort of superhero pose structure that he's uh, leaping off of I went ahead and used weathering pigments uh, just to make it look like a rusted out um, Hulk uh, I will put a video in the cards eventually when I do a weathering pigment um, tutorial uh, but the rest of the base I use the Urban Scatter uh, Base Ready Mix from Geek Gaming Scenics. Uh, just with a few washes over the top, uh, just so that it wasn't a uniform gray color. And then a couple of dry brushes over it to help pick up the, the larger rocks. Uh, but that's it for Caden. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, make sure you check out all of my videos um, from this week. I painted up all of the core Defiance crew, and I'm dropping those videos every day this week. Uh, so if you're just hopping in, you definitely don't want to miss the other ones. Um, so definitely check the How I Paint Things playlist, and you'll be able to find those videos there. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to build an awesome community here. And if you really, really enjoyed it, go ahead and share the video with a friend. Uh, that would really, really help us out. Um, also, I typically only post videos once or twice a week. So if you want to stay up to date on my hobby progress and see what I'm working on, follow me over on Instagram at JTS Wargaming. And that's all I've got for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep slaying the gray, Hobby Warriors. Mm -hmm.